So this happened today. What's up guys? Welcome to Tuesday's vlog of the Diabetes Daily Hustle. I am your host, Ali Abdul Kareem. What have I learned having a Dexcom, a CGM, this thingy? We're talking about that and it's been about a week since I've had a Dexcom G5. And I wanna give you guys my top two, three points of what I've learned so far of having a Dexcom. Now I wanna start off by saying there's a lot of experts on this and I don't wanna come off like I'm trying to be an expert. I'm just sharing my experience and results that hoping that someone finds value from this and entertained at the same time. Let's jump right into it. Number one thing it, I've noticed is there's always a 10 to 20 point difference, always meaning 80 to 90% between Dexcom and my glucose monitor. One, I think is that Dexcom Dexcom is not always going to be perfect. There's usually a delay in Dexcom depending on, um, I don't know. <laughs> Second part to number one is different parts of our body I've learned equal different readings. So for example, if I check on my left finger with my blood glucose meter on my ring finger, it's going to be different from when I check on my ring finger on my right hand. Some of it is due to just being inconsistent as a machine because machines will not be perfect. We all know that. The higher you go in blood sugar, the less accurate it becomes, the lower you go, the lower the accuracy goes. That's something to consider and that's why I take my readings kind of lightly in a sense, unless they're obviously really high or really low, but that also means they're inaccurate. So don't let this overwhelm your brain if you guys are watching and you're like, um, so like, everything is wrong no just remember the arm is gonna be completely different from when you check over here but I'm always gonna trust my machine more than anything it's gonna pick up blood sugar faster like this the beginning of the video that was me working out I did not feel 50 at all I usually feel my hypos very well but I trusted Dex too much I was like I'm 70 I'm probably gonna my blood sugar is probably gonna spike so I'm good and I wasn't good the second thing I've learned about having a CGM is how protein actually spikes our blood sugar it's way slower than I thought like way slower you would think protein will start bringing up your blood sugar immediately but no like there's a huge delay any dumb person could realize I'm just saying like having a CGM it just you can see it firsthand anyone who's checking their blood sugar frequently you can see like okay there's definitely a protein delay in my food or whatever five hours later checking my blood sugar it's now it's spiking and the second part to that is I am shots I am shots are intramuscular shots I take them on my shoulders they're painless sometimes you might get a nerve in there or hit a blood vessel those on the CGM, I am shots bring your blood sugar down really fast, way faster than I ever thought. That's something to add. Now for the second segment of this port of this video, appreciate you guys watching so far. I created new rules for myself for having a Dexcom. Now I'm not gonna go wild and say like, oh, I'm gonna every reading is Dex, Dex for life, baby. I'm bringing Dexy back. Yeah, <laughs> music video. So I'm creating my own rules for having Dexcom. Some of you might agree with me. Some of you might think this is kind of bizarre, but it's not bizarre. It's really conservative. Or let's say this before I go to bed all right I want to like calibrate it and make sure I'm going to sleep with something accurate eating a meal or prior to a meal so that's three times right there so four just right off the bat first one is before bed before meals I only eat three meals a day so that's four the fifth one is before the gym today I didn't check before the gym I should have maybe my blood sugar would have read 65 would have had a tablet would have had a better workout should have could have would have would have just adapt when the machine reads hypo and I don't feel hypo or if or it says hyper like I'm you know 180 or something out of nowhere I'm gonna check with my blood sugar meter now some of you are like what's the point of having a Dexcom idiot if you're just checking your blood sugar all the time not really I can see the trends of my post meals and in between and my sleep as well that's huge for me so I just cut my blood sugar checking in half I'm only checking five times a day so that's three meals before going to bed and before the gym now there's some in there that are like oh you're hypo oh you're hyper and you know if I'm gonna correct I'm gonna make sure how much I am on the blood glucose meter. That being said, thank you so much for watching, guys. For those of you who don't know, my name is Ali Abdul Kareem. I do daily vlogs talking about diabetes, and I'm more than happy to take your request. Just drop it in the comment below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Consider subscribing for a daily vlog. Daily, daily, daily. That being said, I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Wait, 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 wait. It's Dex time. I'm bringing Dexy back. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, my goodness. Dexy back. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no.